Welcome back, everyone, to Ferris Sports Update. Let's talk Bulldog hockey. And with us, head coach Bob Daniels. Coach, welcome back to the show. Thanks, Rob. Big weekend of uh, Ferris State hockey this past weekend. The number 19 Bulldogs taking on number four ranked Miami uh, here in Big Rapids. And uh, got a big win on Friday night, three to nothing. Un unfortunately, a, a tough loss on Saturday, but it seems like a lot of, a lot of CCHA action, a lot of series that uh, really comes down to, to a split on the weekend. Boy, you're right. Uh, I mean, just talking about the league as a whole last weekend, uh, it was five series, all five were splits. So it just shows you how tough it is in the CCHA to, uh, to sweep, uh, to win a back-to-back -back series. And right now, and I, hear, I think there's only been one sweep uh, in league play uh, uh, up to date, and that was uh, Nor our Notre Dame at Northern last week, at, or two weeks ago, and uh, Notre Dame's in first because of that. That's the only difference right now. It, uh, it, it's tough. So um, as, you know, with our team right now, one of the things we're really trying to, to, to push forward is how to be mature enough to, to go after a sweep. And, you know, you get the number four team in the country here. So in some respects, that was a tall order. But we won Friday, and we really tried to, last week against uh, UAF, we had won on Friday and didn't do very well Saturday. I thought we would play a better game than we did on Saturday. A little disappointed with how, how we performed on Saturday night, knowing that, you know, trying to teach the guys how hard it is to actually sweep. Before we get to Saturday's game, let's talk about Friday night's game and go to the highlights. Uh, the Bulldogs with a big win on Friday night, three to nothing, and an important win for for your team with a lot of young guys in the lineup uh, due to some injuries. Yeah, you know we we, we have been bitten by the injury bug, and um, while we don't want to use this excuse or as a crutch, the, the reality is it has made a big difference not only in the games, but it's really hurt the quality of our practices. I, I think it's had more of a negative impact on, the, on our practices than it has on our games. We just haven't been able to work the guys as hard as we normally would like to work them. Uh, in terms of physicality and practice, we, we've been going very light. We don't want to get anyone hurt. And it seems to be all our defensemen are the ones that are, are showing the injuries. So we've just got to be a little bit careful. But here on Friday night, we did play really well. It was important that we, we got this, the weekend started off on the right foot. Uh, you see C.J. Mott making some saves here on the video, and he was really good on the weekend, really good. And I'd say, you know, uh, two years ago we had Patrick Nagel here as an All-American goaltender. Uh, last year it was Taylor Nelson as an All-American goaltender. Those, you know, to have two in a row was amazing. And I would say right now C.J. Mott's playing is equally as good as what those two had played. Now, his winning percentage isn't as high right now, but that's the team in front of him. It, it does not have the experience. but. Uh, I think it really bodes well that our goaltending has been playing as well as it has, and it's given us an opportunity to win some games while we're still growing and getting better. You get that early goal and really a one-goal game, and then a, a pretty goal here from Justin Buzio, and uh, this gets you out to a two-to-nothing lead. Well, that was a really nice goal. It, uh, you know, and it, it's a great individual effort, and uh, certainly really happy to see it. Good to see Buzio getting it on the scoreboard, and then again. Um, Later the next night, I think, or have a highlight here of Buzz, you'll score again. So he's starting to feel it. He's starting to play well. Here's another freshman defenseman getting uh, getting a goal here. And, and real happy to see Connor Schmidt come away with his first CCHA goal. He's had some points. And, uh, again, one of those freshmen that have made some big contributions uh, over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, he really has. And, and we've, we've got a lot of mileage out of those kids right now. Some of them are starting to show some wear and tear. And I think it did materialize on Saturday night. Um, Saturday, though, I would say our, our top line with uh, Willette on it, as well as our fourth line with Buzzio, had a great game. And our second and third line struggled a little as compared to normal. And I could, I, I could start seeing a little bit of wear and tear, like I said, on our young defense. But they're just not used to it. Uh, Miami certainly came out a lot harder this game, too. We knew that was going to happen. But uh, just a, a, it, realistically, we were fortunate to be in a position where we could have tied the game late. Uh, by the way, uh, highlight right there is a, a penalty shot, and uh, our goaltender did a great job of stopping that CJ. But we had a chance to win this game or tie it late, and uh, probably more than we deserved with the quality of play we had that night. One of the interesting subplots to this series uh, we saw early on in this uh, video of Saturday's game was Tommy Hill, the former Bulldog captain, uh, part of the Miami staff now, and uh, I know a lot of respect from the fans uh, to see him back in the building. Yeah, they were. I think he got a well-deserved round of applause, a couple small boos up there, which 
he deserves. <laughs> no, he doesn't. But uh, it was it was good natured ribbing, I think. And uh, but he, you know, it's great to see. He's got a good hockey mind. He's very mature. I know they're extremely happy with Tom Hill. Uh, I talked to their coaching staff, and I'm not surprised whatsoever. I know when they called, he had applied there a year ago, and they called, wanted to know what I thought. I said he's going to be a great addition. And the problem, one of the issues though, is I think he's gave away a few of our secrets though on our face-off plays, and I'll have a little word with him come April. Miami takes a, a three-to-one lead, but your kids battle back. You get a goal to pull within one here, and then a, a big penalty uh, late in the game. You're on the power play and just just not able to put the, the puck in. Yeah, you can see right here we're getting some chances right around their net um, with the power play, and then we pulled the goalie late, and they got the, uh, the empty net goal to win four-two, but. Um, we had gave, you know, we had a chance. It would, it would have been great, just like the week before, I think, on the, uh, Saturday night, we had a chance. It just, we need to play better on Saturdays. It's just, like I said, uh, there's only been one sweep and uh, ten series so far uh, in, in the CCHA, only one sweep, and it's really hard to do. This uh, past weekend series, like some of the others you'll face this year, the final time uh, you, you were able to take on Miami in CCHA regular season action at least. And wh what did that mean to you, uh, being able to play the Red Hawks? I know with, with you being able to get your coaching start at Miami. Well, you, did, you know, I, I didn't really think about it a lot. I, I don't know what it is. A lot of the coaches, if you talk to them, we don't put much thought into it. It's somewhat depressing to know that it's the, we're winding up this conference. Like I said, we're very excited about our new conference. But... Um, and I know we're going to be playing Miami again down the road non-conference. So it, to us, we know we're going to lock horns again. Um, but I did, uh, I always think positively about Miami. I was excited for Tommy Hill, knowing that not only did myself get my start uh, college coaching at Miami, so did Drew Famulak and Mark Kaufman. And so now to see Tommy Hill going and following in those footsteps, uh, feel feel very good about that. This weekend, uh, you'll have an opportunity to play Lake Superior State, and they'll, of course, be one of the future rivals in the WCHA. And uh, as you head north to Sault Ste. Marie, uh, what do you expect out of the Lakers this weekend? Wow, they've got a good team, and uh, they split last weekend with Fairbanks, and we know how good Fairbanks is. And um, you know, for them to go all the way to Fairbanks and split, we we know they're they're a good team. We'll have our hands full. The Bulldogs uh, playing on the road now after three consecutive weekends here at home. Uh, what do you what do you see going onto the road uh, to play the next couple weekends? Well, we need to get on the road, Rob. We have played at home a lot, and sometimes you get a little soft. And, and uh, so it's time now to get on the road. We'll be on the road this weekend against uh, Lake State, then the following weekend against Bowling Green. And uh, you know, ideally, we'll come away with some points. And you know what? I just think it's going to be good for our team right now just to get away from home and, and get on the road. And sometimes. Uh, you, you can bond and get a little bit closer. Well, Coach, best of luck as you, as you travel to Lake Superior State this weekend for a Friday-Saturday series. Thanks, Rob. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.